Hello, Hotness, and welcome to Chapter 3 of How to Stream. I'm going to continue from where I left off and talk about how the live streaming profession deviates globally. We are leaving China and looking instead at South Korea, where eating and live streaming is the way to go. Yeah, you heard me right. Eating. This phenomenon even has its own name, mukbang. The so-called broadcast jockeys feel themselves eating all kinds of things and often getting really greasy while doing it. People obviously enjoy watching when other people are eating and this is now spread all over the world, even here in uh, Sweden. Thousands upon thousands of people are watching other people eat on YouTube. In South Korea, users can send these jockeys digital gifts and in return, the jockeys are able to exchange these gifts uh, for real cash and make uh, money from their uh, sessions. Africa TV is one of the most popular streaming services in South Korea and the platform where Mokbang started out. So except watching people eating massive quantities of food, you can watch people singing or very thin women altering the shape of their face with in-app filters. Or you can watch a dog who rides in a miniature car, all with huge crowds watching. But as always, there are also bad and illegal things happening on these services when people push the boundaries. Some people have been found offering sexual services and others have been uh, caught streaming when they humiliate disabled people all live uh, via these streams, which made the companies uh, toughen up on their watch lists. And some people, especially young ones, will do anything for fame and just for those extra likes they will cross all possible borders. We will talk more about that uh, on another chapter. And as always, you can watch people game. League of Legends is the most popular game with millions of followers just in South Korea, where the most popular teams fill entire arenas uh, when playing. They also earn millions of dollars by doing what they love, playing games. VLive is another famous live service which lets celebrities connect with their fans. Lots of Korean pop groups have been uh, become famous through here and some of them uh, have amassed huge fan groups where the biggest ones have up to 10 million followers. And because there are no firewalls blocking people like in China, these services are getting popular, uh, are getting popular uh, not only in uh, South Korea but also in countries as Japan, Taiwan, uh, Vietnam and ironically China. Life will find a way. Always. In Taipei, for example, one streaming service owns a 30 meter high billboard in the middle of the city. And on the ads, you can often see live streamers pose with a message calling out to the city's lonely souls. In our part of the world, there are lots of different uh, live streaming apps as well. And there is a tough fight between them where all want to be number one in live streaming. The US led companies, however, have the upper hand, and Twitch is still the most popular one with the main focus on, on gaming. It has about uh, 4 million people streaming uh, at least once a month and about 1.3 million viewers each day. But they are slowly getting squeezed by competition. Now except Twitch, which is owned by Amazon, and Periscope, owned by Twitter, you have the giants YouTube Live, owned by Google, Facebook Live, and Microsoft's Mixer that are battling for your attention and has been coming in hard recent years. All these new live uh, platforms, except Mixer and Twitter, already have billions of people visiting them. So connecting their live services with their other platforms makes them really powerful. Facebook's social connections and YouTube's huge video audience makes them really capable and tough competitors. And all of these giants also have almost unlimited amount of money. So it is hard for smaller live streaming solutions to compete with them. 
The services in themselves have some interesting differences. For example, YouTube Live is standing out in a way of quality. It gives you the possibility to stream games in 4K, uh, 60 frames per second resolution for free. They apparently also save all your streams indefinitely. All other streaming platforms delete uh, your saved streams in two weeks or 90 days if you're a partner. We also have Mixer that is trying to be number one. Uh, they recently gave Ninja and Shroud, two of the biggest streamers on Twitch, an offer they couldn't refuse. So they quit their cooperation with Twitch and now they exclusively stream for Mixer. Shroud has today about 800,000 followers uh, on Mixer from 7 million that he had on Twitch. And Ninja, who had almost 15 million followers on Twitch, now has 2.7 on Mixer. We will see how that will affect them over time. Uh, and if, you, if, if, if it was worth the switch, unfortunately, we do not know how much money they got from Mixer or Microsoft to do the, do the, do the move. But um, one thing uh, uh, more that is really interesting with Mixer is how the service senses that you are reaching the end of your game and automatically connects a couple of hundred random viewers to your stream. Who watch the end game. And this is a very cool function that gives smaller streamers a chance to prove themselves, something that really stands out in that platform. Facebook stands out in how you can see data and how they connect your page with the rest of their services. It, all, it, it is also easier to build audiences on Facebook Live compared to other, other services. Apparently, Facebook algorithm is doing something to help out there, and I can confirm that it's true, uh, even if Mixer is closing in on that. Facebook is also trying to pull in people from Twitch in different ways. And I heard that lots of streamers say that Facebook pays uh, out more, most money per follower, so which of course is a way to pull in uh, content creators. If we look at some channels and streams that broke records, you can just watch uh, Fortnite's Black Hole hype, where they just streamed a black hole for two days <laughs> to usher in the game's uh, 11th season and the uh, only redesigned map. This was one of the biggest singular online gaming events to date, with more than 7 million concurrent viewers on, uh, across Twitch, uh, mix, uh, Twitch no, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, then we have the meeting between Drake and Ninja on Twitch, which was a rare combination of music and video game worlds. Uh, they played Fortnite for about four hours and in that time attracted a peak of 630,000 concurrent, uh, 630, concurrent viewers, setting a new milestone for viewers on an individual's channel. So if you want to succeed in streaming, it is not a bad idea to make some cooperation uh, events with other influencers and get out of your comfort zone. That's enough for today. Next week, I'm going to talk more about uh, what to stream. And until then, write below who your favorite streamer is and why. Adios.